Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, January 22nd, 2024, and it is a cloudy, rainy day here in Southern California. It is 10.30 in the morning, and I want to update you on the strike, first and foremost. Thank you, thank you, thank you all for the comments, for watching the video, for getting involved, for sharing it, passing it around, getting the word out. Thank you so much. Out of all the comments that I got, and I got a lot... Um, and I, you know, I learned quite a bit too. Um, sorry about that. Uh, out of all the comments, five were Desperado drivers stating, hey, you know what, man, you guys do your thing and, and I'm just going to suck up all that money on Valentine's Day. <laughs> you know what my response to that is? Suck it up, buttercup. <laughs> because it's the only day you may actually make a real profit. But when those passengers get in your car, and have been waiting for two hours for a driver to show up. <laughs> have fun with those one-star ratings. Passengers are vicious. And I'm going to leave a comment, or I'm, let me rephrase that. I'm going to make a video for passengers as well. Because, well, check out this picture. That is my lift car and my race car, and my daily driver, and my show car. Okay, now, just in case you don't believe me, check it out. There it is, right there. Let me turn the camera around, this will be better. Okay, my daily driver, my, medical response car when I'm doing site work on-site medical work show car race car all that good stuff okay this is the car you get when you request a lift okay two-tone leather interior my light bar up on the top all that good stuff okay $45,000 car. I love it. But you know what? It also costs a little bit of money to operate it. It's a great icebreaker when you show up and somebody goes, Damn, that's my lift car? Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, so, anyway, but I also wanted to try a little something. And again, I appreciate you guys. Uh, so much for for all the feedback but uh, <laughs> i changed my uber account because i don't drive for them anymore and uh, after being shot at and pushing the 911 button for uber and not getting anywhere because i had no cell service and i was begging uber to gps me and send the police up and they hung up yeah they hung up and, and drivers deserve much much better than what they're getting these companies are taking 50, 60, 75%. Look at my last video. The proof is there. Now, check this out. I changed my name on Uber. I still have the passenger app. Imagine that. They'll take my money and let me ride in Uber, but I can't drive for them. Check this out. Here's the email I got from Uber when I changed my names. Okay, and here are the names I put on my profile. Stu Ped Bitch, Landis D in your mouth, and this one. So <laughs> they, they approved them. <laughs> They tell me, we need to verify your name. We need to do that. They never called me. They never texted me. They never sent me an email saying, hey, somebody, is this your account? Is this your real name? Is this something you want to? They just sent me a very generic email stating, or on the app, as you saw, stating that um, you know, they were going to verify that name. And they did. And I never authorized it. So, again, safety not a thing with these companies paying drivers a fair rate letting us set our own rates all that stuff nope 
we can sit here on YouTube and you guys can watch these videos and we can gibber our, flap our jaws all day long. Actions speak louder than words. When we act on February 14th, the sound will be deafening. Okay? Just imagine, with all the drivers, hundreds of thousands of drivers across the United States, 50,000 drivers shut the app down for 24 hours. Scruber, Stift, Instafart, Door Trash, Grub Stub, whatever the hell you want to call them. 24 hours. You're looking, they're looking at a $25 million loss. You don't think that screams in their ear that drivers have had enough? We don't care. Um, but for those who are standing up and who understand what we are fighting for, thank you. Um, again, I'll be doing another video and I will direct this towards passengers so they understand exactly what these companies are doing to them. matter. <laughs> I am pumped. I am, you know, I haven't been on YouTube in a long time, but you know what? Again, I stand for what I believe in, and I believe that drivers deserve a lot better. Passengers have been spoiled way too long, and they're screaming because they're paying too much. Well, you know what? Our rates have gone down, yet our expenses have gone up. Passenger fares have gone up, and driver's pay has gone down. So something very wrong with that. But anyway, February 14th, you guys, the whole day, shut the app down. Don't even turn it on. Take the day and do something you've wanted to do for a while. Yeah, it's the middle of the week, but it's your day. Spend it with loved ones. Spend it with your family, your friends, your significant other. Do something you want to do. And while you're doing what you want to do, you'll also be putting your foot down and standing up against these companies. So until next time, be safe, be professional, keep it real. And if you must drive on, I wish you all the best of health. We got this. So let's do it.